I was just being quiet, letting you do your thing. <laughs> Hi, this is Uza Tekasasu with the Dark Wardens, and I'm going to show you how to save a base in creative mode. So we're going to create a new game, and we're going to name it new base for our project. And we need to make sure we have it set on creative mode. So creative mode on. Um, you don't want to have to deal with enemies, so we're going to take enemy spawning, turn it off. And that's all you really need to do there. You're going to hit start. And it takes a moment for this to generate, so give it some time. And basically you use this to save a base that you've built on a creative mode or a personally built game. Um, say you've been playing the game, you've built a really nice base, and you really would really like to spot it into a new alpha build and not have to rebuild the whole thing. So this is one of the ways you can do it. Or this is one of the only ways you can do it. So we're going to go over to this base here. And we are going to... Turn on God mode. We should be able to turn on God mode. Ah. Yeah, see there, it does that. Um, turn on God mode. To turn on God mode, you're going to have to turn EAC off. And that's this rather new development for 7 Days to Die. So make sure that's off. We need to turn debug menu on, so I press F1 and type DM and enter and CM and enter to make sure those two things are on. Then you kind of press sorry. escape and we're going to click on God mode over here. Don't not mind my friend in the background, um, I'm just talking over him. I apologize. <laughs> He's fine. So say this is your base, I know this is a POI, but say this is your base or whatever it is you built and you're pretty proud of it and you want to take it into the next server or the next um, build. So you're going to find um, where the bottom point is. For this, there's no underground piece, so you don't need to worry too much about that. So you're just going to grab some frames. It really doesn't matter which frames you use. And you're going to grab an outer portion of it. So I'm going to grab that, because that looks like it's the outside of the base. So that would be the bottom point. And then you're going to come over here and make sure you grab a top point. So to grab a top point, you're going to place your block all the way up and make sure it's level with the top part of the roof or wherever 
top part of your base is. So for us, the roof is way up there. So we're going to keep placing frames. And this is just a, a measuring tool to help you measure where to stop and start the borders of your new base. So that's higher than that. So we're going to go over here and go down. And we are going to place our cursor on that block there and press Z. And then we are going to go up all the way over to this marker over here and press Z again. And that should give us the bounds of our base. You can see it's pulled it into a chunk. And you can see it's clipping the roof a little bit here. Um, ideally, you don't want that to happen because those will not be saved into your new base. But for these purposes, we don't really about the, care about that little corner frame there. And then you're going to print escape and hit export prefab. And it's going to ask you to save it. So we're just going to go whatever you want. We'll name this dummy POI. And we're going to hit save locally. Okay, so now that's saved and that is in your prefab folder. So in order to re-import it into a game, you're going to need a service. And that service is called... Um, I forget what it's called actually, but there's a service that you use to import that with and we have that saved on another video and we'll get into that shortly. So, but that's how to save one and ideally what you want to do is open up your folder where your game is saved. Mine's on my E drive and you're going to pick this right here and common, seven days to die, data, prefabs, and you're going to look for where it says dummy POI. You're going to grab all four of these files, you're going to right click, copy, and you're going to save them to a POI file. You ideally want to back up every POI you make or every prefab you make because um, if you do any updates or you wipe a map, it could potentially delete that POI or prevent it from being able to be imp imported back into the game. So you always just want to make a backup of it. Also it helps if you're sending this to a server owner to import into their server for you and helps to have it already by pre backed up and so you don't have to look for the file. And so that's how to do that. Um, I'll do importing on a new video. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks!